welcome to Thursday Reviews. Today we have kind of two things, but they're going to go together. It is a mouse pad and a mouse, both made by Corsair. Here they are. We're just going to focus on the mouse pad right now. The model number for it is the MM800 RGB Polaris. It has lights that light up around the edges and has a USB port on the back to plug in a mouse. Before I show you that, let's look at the bottom. The entire underside is rubber to help from sliding around on your desk. Okay, here's the mouse. It's the Harpoon RGB. The first thing you might notice is there's an extra few buttons on it. Of course, you still have left click, right click, and the center scroll wheel but it also has a button here for sensitivity control, also known as DPI. Red being the least sensitive and blue being the most. There are also two buttons on the side. The top one is forward and the bottom one is backward. The Corsair logo also lights up on the mouse but not on the mouse pad. Okay, so here's the laptop that I use to edit the videos. It comes with a program called Corsair Utility Engine. This is where you'll be able to program the mouse and the mouse pad to do whatever you like. Now there's more to it as well, but I just have the MM800 RGB and the Harpoon RGB, which are the two things on the left that my mouse is going back and forth between. Now, you can also go, you know, with you can have a separate keyboard where you can pretty much program each key individually. Uh, demo Void and Headset, or Demo ST100 RGB. Um, I'm going to be 100% honest with you, I'm actually not sure what that is. So then there's these tabs up on the top where you can change the Harpoon RGB. You can see what it looks like. And then there's Actions, Lighting Effects, DPI, and Performance. Now DPI is this little button in here that changes between your sensitivity options. I'll show you that in a moment. You also have a tab for the MM800 Polaris and you can see it not only exactly what it looks like but you can see the pattern I have it on. It's like a blue and a yellow. Now we're going to focus on first of all the mouse pad because it's pretty simple. Uh, the mouse pad just has lighting effects. So now we're going to show you the different modes. So, okay so here's the mouse pad this is called Spiral Rainbow. You can actually adjust the speed, you can make it go really fast or slower. And you can actually change the direction clockwise or counterclockwise. Then you have Rainbow Wave. So it's just kind of more gentle. It's kind of similar. Visor. You can change colors for that. Color shift, which is a solid, it's two colors. It lights up the whole pad and switches between two colors. Color pulse, similar, but it goes all the way out. Color wave is the one I use. It just kind of wraps around the mouse pad. And again, with all these, you can change the two colors or you can have it random. Pretty obvious, you can just have it static color, and on the computer program, you can actually click off, so you can just have certain parts on. And the last mode is lighting link, which looks kind of so. Now we're going to look at the Harpoon RGB, the mouse. So, in the mouse, there's options where you can, there's not as many, you can do rainbow. Mouse pad, the actual Corsair logo is changing colors. It's very slow. You can change the speed if you wish. I'm going to have, have color shift. So that's two colors. Color pulse. Where it will actually turn it off. Static color, which is just a static color. 
That's what I have it on. That's what I usually have it on. You can change. Um, and then lighting link. Oh, I get what that does. So it actually will link up to the mouse pad. And so they'll both do the lighting link. So they light up at the exact same time. So on the mouse, there's something called DPI, which is basically the sensitivity of the mouse. And you can change it with that button on the top that I pointed out earlier. So it begins with red, which is the least sensitive. Then there's white, which is what I usually use. There's green. There's yellow. And then dark blue is the most sensitive. But you can actually add what's called sniper, which is a lighter blue. And it's the most sensitive. And all, the, all of these modes you can actually adjust separately um, on the Corsair Utility Engine. Now I, again, usually leave mine on white. And when you turn the DPI zone on with, during the lighting effects, you can get the actual lighting effects to show up rather than just the DPI setting that you left it on. Okay, so now it's time to see what I think about it. So, what do I like about the mouse pad and the mouse? Well, for one, they look really cool. <laughs> you get to have as many lighting effects or you can pretty much do whatever you want with it. <laughs> Seriously. You're very free to customize. You have a bunch of lighting options. Pretty much everything is customizable. Speaking of the customizability, you can also adjust the sensitivity of all the modes on the mouse, which is really nice because, you know, each person is a little different with, with how sensitive they want their mouse, and different games or different computer programs will require a different sensitivity of a mouse. Some games will want more sensitive mouse, but if you're doing what I'm doing and editing videos, you'll want it less sensitive so that you can get a little more pinpoint accurate with your mouse. The mouse feels very natural while you're holding it in your hand. It's to the shape of a person's hand. It just feels natural. The buttons are in a perfect placement on the side and on the top. You never are like hunting for a button with your thumb. No, you always find the button you're looking for. It just feels natural. So the mouse pad has kind of a rope style cord that's very strong and would last through a lot. So the cord is made very well and I do like that. The only real con I have is that the mouse pad is a bit large, but I mean it's a mouse pad. You can't expect, expect it to be like the size of a phone or something. <laughs> so I mean it is to be expected, but it is a large mouse pad. So do the pros outweigh the cons? Yeah, there's not that many cons to weigh, so yes, they definitely do. I recommend the Corsair mouse pad and mouse. Yes, for sure this is the best mouse I've ever had. You buy it as is, you customize it the way you want it, and then you leave it alone. And it, you can customize it for you. You can customize to how you want it, and that's what I really like about it. So, thank you for watching this week's episode. Join me next week where we'll review something else. I hope to see you then.